Hi, my brother, my beloved brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, I would really like us to learn about the benefits of praying the scriptures. And when I say the benefits of praying the scriptures, what are the benefits or what are the roles do scripture pray when we quote the scriptures in our prayers? That is what as we, uh, that is what I want us to focus today. And uh, you shall see if there is anything that has to be a lifestyle of a Christian is prayers. Everybody needs prayers. No matter whether you are young, middle-aged, or old, you need to, be, to live a life dedicated of prayers. A life which is dedicated to prayers. And for you to travel in this prayer, you need to quote the scripture so that you can have the following. For example, number one, the benefits of praying scriptures is you pray in accordance to the will of God. Most of our prayers, I have heard uh, quite often when uh, people normally say that I have not, I've been praying for this quite a long time. I have not seen, I have not seen, I have not received any, any results it is because some of us uh, pray prayers that are outside the will of god god does not answer anything that is outside his will he either arrange you in accordance to his will so that you he can answer you and the best thing to do when it comes to prayers is to quote the scriptures when you quote the scriptures the scriptures are we learn in, in uh, the book of Ephesians 4, chapter 12. The Bible says that the word of God is, is alive and active. It's sharper than, than a double-edged sword. What does this mean? It's life and active. When, when, when you quote the word of God, or the scripture in your prayer you are infusing the life of god in that prayer so you are praying the will of god another benefit number two you are able to streamline your prayers if you are praying about uh, spiritual battles maybe you quote uh, psalms 35 g uh, lord contend with those who contend with me fight against those who fight against me Arise, take your back right shield and try to see. Uh, at that time, this, may, this, this makes you be able to go or to go to, 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 to adopt the other the, the next phase and be able to bring it into into the, into the line of that prayer. You take that line of prayer. And you cannot be praying for Kanasi and then you are quoting that Kanas, then you are quoting uh, the same scripture and then you are quoting another one is contrary to that. For example, you cannot be praying prayers of uh, prayers of, of uh, spiritual warfare where you are, you are you are you are you are quoting let's say no weapon fashion against me shall prosper. That is Isaiah chapter 15, verse 17. And then at the same time, you'll be quoting scriptures that are about prosperity. No, it does not go that way. You are able to, to, scrutinize, to scrutinize or to streamline your prayers. If it is you are going to pray for that topic, you get prepared and with the Bible quotes that you have either hidden in your heart or the, the Bible you have also, uh, maybe the Bible scriptures or the, the, the ones that you have uh, written somewhere. Another number three, number three, you are guaranteed of victory and answer and answered prayer when you use the scriptures. Because I told you when you use the scriptures, the scriptures are, the, the scripture of the Bible is, a God, is it's God's word, which has his life and active. So you activate your prayers using those words and you infuse the life of God in that prayer. That's why it says in it says in uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12, the word of God is, is alive and active. You infuse the life 
and you activate your prayers using the scriptures. Even Jesus said in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, A man shall not live by a bread alone, but by every word of God. And he said, it is written. He answered Satan, it is written. If you go the same Matthew chapter 4, verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 7, it says, it is also written, you, sh the, you shall not test your, you shall not put your God into tests. That is something, kinda, that is something that gives you guaranteed victory. Number, number <coughs> 4, your intercessory prayers grow. You try, you, you see when you are trying to build the scriptures and you have maybe uh, been praying for another of, of various areas or, or aspect in your life and you have won victory and you have rem remembered the results. You, are, you, you, can, you have seen the results. Then your intercessory life grows. In fact, you are now able from me, me, me making yourself a central point and also putting other people in the limelight of your prayers. You are even praying for marriages of other people, children, the unbelievers, and also see your intercessory prayer grow. Then, number five, the more, it, the more you, you, you use uh, biblical be, 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 quotes, the scriptures the more you read the bible so that you can have the anticipated or the light words to pray in prayers and also hide those quotes in your heart for example do you know somebody who reads the bible more and somebody who doesn't if they pray their prayers are different this person who reads the bible his prayer will be deeper his prayer will be using even the correct flow of words. Even we can ask, I'm not trying to say that you are, your prayer must be perfect. No, I'm not talking of perfection of prayers, but I'm telling you the knowledge of how to pray you have been infused in you when you are using the scriptures other than somebody who doesn't even know the scriptures. Because, you, you know, my, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. And it is not only people perish, even their, their, their blessings perish because they are not aware of the scripture. Even the scripture they can use in, play, in, in, in even in players. So those are the five benefits of praying the scripture. And if you really know, uh, you would really like to, to meet, to see the other video, to listen to my other video, the other video will be the scriptures that triggers ageric uh, manifestation or ageric activities in the spiritual realm. That is our will be our next topic. So make sure that you subscribe on this. Thank you so much. May God bless you.